When we drove into the community and we saw the view, we couldn't ignore it. It was just something that we needed to do and make happen. Uh, we were looking to come back to Denver about seven years ago after we had lived in Denver 25 years ago. At the time, there weren't many new homes for sale. That country was one of the few areas that had them. We also loved the location, close to the mountains, the outdoor feel that it has with all the open space. All those factors kind of led us to, to pick that country. If you look around, it is a beautiful area. <laughs> and uh, it's marvelous scenery. They have peace and serenity here if they want to choose to go for a walk out in the trails. If they just want to hang out by the pool or in one of our pubs, uh, they're more than welcome to do that as well. The biggest amenity is the backcountry space. Uh, a little over 450 acres of, of open space for mountain biking, hiking, trails. Uh, the Sundial House is a uh, semi-circle. It's got a, a small pub, family room area, full kitchen, fitness center, and then obviously the swimming pool too. You feel like you're living in a resort. They greet you with a smile. They're very helpful and attentive. It's a really good feeling to walk into a building or to see somebody on the street and they just, you know, wave and say hi. It's the people that make up the community. I've been here for a short time and I've been very, very warmly welcomed by everybody. Everyone's extremely nice, very cordial. I guess the best part really would be the people. Very quickly we became friends with a whole bunch of people. It was very easy to meet them because of the activities that are taking place here in the community. The people are amazing. There are great activities for everybody to interact socially. Everybody's just so super nice and friendly and wanting to socialize and enjoy life. It starts out in the springtime. We have a very large Easter egg hunt that goes through in just a matter of minutes, finding thousands of eggs. As we get into the summertime, we have our main pool party with live entertainment, food, and obviously games around the pool as well. In the summer, we have a park party every other week and with live bands. We have food trucks that come in, and it's just an opportunity for all the members to get together and, and get to know each other and, and have some good times. Most of the homes have been sold out here. The lots are pretty much filling up. People are putting the rest of our homes here under contract, and I think that it's going to be nothing but improvements from here on out. As we close out and Shea Homes moves on to their next project, it's going to be about just continuing to be progressive in the community and continue to build the community. We're at the transition between um, having the developer being in charge to having the community being in charge. I would hope that we would continue to take advantage of all the activities that are available because of the facilities. I hope to see more of the same, really. I mean, we'll see people move in and out, but I hope that we maintain the same level of social activities and engagement and interaction with each other.